Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in this video, we are going to understand how to send Google Ads leads to Telegram. So are you also using Google Ads to promote your business? Then this video is definitely for you. So the objective of our today's video is that as soon as a new lead is received in a Google Ads, automatically a Telegram message should be sent to my team, notifying my team that we have received a new lead. For this, we are going to create a connection between Google Ads and Telegram. To create this connection without knowing any programming or coding language, we are going to use Pabli Connect. It is an amazing automation software. So in Pabli, we have the concept of trigger and action. For trigger, we are going to use Google Ads and for action, we are using Telegram. So if you also wish to learn this process step by step, follow me through the screen. Welcome to my screen. So as you know, in this video, we are going to learn how to send Google Ads leads to Telegram. So for this, I have already opened the landing page of Pabli simply by searching pabli.com slash connect in my browser. It is very easy. So as soon as you'll open the landing page of Pabli, you're going to get two options. One is sign in and the another one is sign up for free. So if you are a new user, you can click on sign up for free and you're going to get 100 of tasks free every month. But I'm an existing user, so I'm going to click on sign in. And now it is opening all Pabli apps. Over here, you can see all the tools and applications offered by Pabli. But in today's video, we are going to use Pabli Connect because we are connecting different applications. So I'm going to click on access now right over here. And now it is opening my dashboard. And to start with the automation, we are going to click on this button right over here, which is create workflow. And now it is asking me the workflow name and the folder I want to save the workflow in. So I want to save the workflow in this folder, which is automations. And I want to name my workflow as how to send Google ads leads to Telegram. And then we are going to click on create. And now it is opening the most important window of our automation. That is our workflow window. This is the most important window because we have triggered an action in this. Trigger means when this happens an action means do this. By this you can understand that the trigger is the commander for the workflow and actions follow the commands. And as you know that we can have only a single commander but multiple followers. So over here we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the commands of our trigger. So now we are going to select our trigger application which is Google Ads because I want that as soon as a new Google ad is received automatically my workflow should be triggered. So I'm going to search for it and select it. And then for the trigger event we are going to select it as new lead form entry. And now it is giving me a web hook URL. So we are going to use this URL in order to create a connection between our Pabli's workflow and Google Ads. So first I'm going to copy this URL and then we are going to open our Google Ads. And over here it is saying create your first campaign. So as you can see that I'm running this in draft mode and this is not a live campaign. So the leads or the response which I'll receive would be a draft or a dummy response. And over here you can see add features to your ads to get more clicks. So over here we are going to click on see more. And from here, we are going to move on forward and click on lead forms. And now we are going to click on add lead forms. And over here, you can see that it is asking me to create a form. So over here, I want to add name, phone number and email in my form. So after entering this, we are going to move on forward. And now we are going to move to lead delivery options. We are going to open this. And over here, we are going to paste the web URL we copied from our workflow. And for the key, we are going to enter a dummy key and then click on send test data. And yes, you can see test data sent successfully. So this means that Google Ads has sent the dummy data of our draft campaign to our workflow. So I'm going to open my workflow and check that if Pabli has captured the response or not. And yes, you can see Pabli has captured the dummy details. Over here is the name, first name, last name, the dummy phone number and the dummy at the rate example.com email ID. So this means that my trigger step is successful and now we are moving on to our action step. For our action application, we are going to select Telegram because I want that as soon as a new Google ad is submitted or a new lead form entry is made, automatically a message should be sent to my Telegram channel that we have received a new lead. So for that, I'm going to search for Telegram bot and select it. And now for the action event, we are going to select send a message or reply. And then we are going to click on connect. And as you can see that it is asking me to add a new connection or select the existing connection. So if you have already connected your Telegram bot account with your Pabli's workflow, you can click on select existing connection and then save. But if you haven't, you have to follow me, click on add a new connection and then it is asking you for the token. So to generate this token, you have to follow me. We are going to go on Telegram and from here we are going to search for bot father. So I'm going to search for it. And over here you can see bot father so we are going to open it and then we are going to click on start right over here and now we are going to put a slash and write new bot and then we are going to select it 
and now it is saying all right a new bot how are we going to call it so i'm going to call it as new leads so now it is saying now let's choose a username for your bot so i want the username to be google ads pabli underscore bot and yes you can see that we have successfully created a bot and over here is the token to access that bot so first i'm going to copy this token and now we are going to paste this token in our workflow and then we are going to click on save and yes as soon as we clicked on save you can see that we have successfully connected our telegram bot account with our pabli's workflow and now it is asking me for the chat id so for this i'm going to open my telegram and over here you can see that this is the group i want to send the message in and over here you can see that i've already added the bot which i created recently which is google leads pabli underscore bot so i've added this bot in my group which is new leads google leads and now we are going to give this bot the admin access so that it can send the messages to our group so as you can see i did that with the help of the telegram mobile application and now after giving it the admin access we are going to copy this chat id right from here so we have to copy the hyphen to so we are going to copy this and then we are going to paste this in our workflow so you have to keep in mind that you also have to copy the hyphen and then we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the text message so i want the message to be hello team we have received a new lead the name the email the phone number make sure we don't miss this lead and we connect with this lead as soon as possible and you can see that i've left some of these spaces blank in front of name email and phone number because i'm going to map this mapping is a method by pabli which means inserting the data from the previous step and as you know our previous step was the trigger step where we selected google ads as our trigger application so we are going to map the details from the response of our trigger application only and as soon as i'm going to map these details automatically my details will turn dynamic and change with every new lead form entry and also my workflow would be ready to run in real time too so i'm going to open the response and then i'm going to search for name and over here you can see the dummy name which is first name last name so we are going to map this we are going to do same for the email also we are going to open the response and over here you can see email which is test@example.com so i'm going to map this we are going to do same for the phone number also over here you can see the test phone number so we are going to map this and now after mapping all these details we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the message thread id and reply to message id as you can see that these fields are not the required fields so we can leave these as blank and now it is asking me for some more details disable notification disable web page preview allow sending without replies protect content and you can see that it is asking me for some more options so over here i am going to keep it as same only because these are not the required and now it is asking me for the pass mode so i am going to keep it as html only and then after filling in the all the required details we are going to click on save and send test request And yes, you can see that we have received the positive response that we have successfully sent a telegram message, which is this: "Hello, team. We have received a new lead. The name, the email, and the phone number. So I'm going to open my telegram and check that if we have received the message or not." And yes you can see that we have received the message hello team we have received a new lead the name that we mapped the email and the phone number so this means that my workflow is successful and i'll just summarize the workflow for you once for our trigger application we selected google ads and then for the trigger event we selected new lead form entry for the action application we selected telegram bot and then for the action event we selected send a text message or reply we did this because i wanted that as soon as a new lead form is submitted in my google ads automatically my team on telegram should be notified that we have received a new lead and we were successful over here you can see that our team was notified with the help of our workflow so if you have any questions related to the video or the workflow you can directly comment on this video and for your reference i'll just clone the workflow and share the workflow link in the description box thank you for watching not only these applications but with the help of pabli you can integrate many more applications so now if you have any doubts you can reach us at support@pabli.com if you have any queries you can reach us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issues you can follow this website and if you find our videos helpful do like and subscribe our channel thank you for watching